All right, so it's the 14th of January, uh, and I just got a letter in the post um, from the hospital. Uh, dear Mast Collins, I don't know why I'm Mast. I'm 21 now. Surely I should be Mr. Um, an appointment has been arranged for you to have your first dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine uh, for COVID-19 on the 16th of January at 11.20. So that's a weekend, so woohoo. Hopefully that means I can have the weekend off. Ha <laughs> ha, great news. First part of the tale, we've got the date and then we're gonna see how we react to it. Okay, so we've got some bad news. So we've just received a text to basically say that there's an issue with the dosage. So my appointment on Saturday has been canceled. However, it has been rescheduled for half five on the 19th. Whenever Tuesday is. Sadly, it's not on the weekend, but I've got a half day Wednesday, so if I do react a little bit bad, hopefully that could just be a bed bound day. Because I like coming early, my COVID jab isn't until 5.50, and I misread it and thought it was half five, so I finished work at five, so I've just got to sit here now for another 40 minutes, because I don't want to be that patient who comes in like an hour before their appointment. Especially in COVID times, like if my appointment isn't for the next five, ten minutes, don't bother coming in. <laughs> So I'm just out. It's been about 15 minutes. Well, it's been about 20 minutes. But after your vaccine, you have to wait 15 minutes to make sure that you don't react badly to having the vaccine. So yeah, it was absolutely fine. Not feeling bad. Didn't feel the vaccine going in. Lady was lovely. It's really nothing to worry about. Let's see how I feel in an hour when I when I am next there. All right, let's go. Right, so it's about an hour after I've just been given the vaccine. I feel absolutely fine. Arm is fine. I don't feel ill. I've had some food. I have, ha I have a hand. I have not had any extra paracetamol, but I feel absolutely fine. So you get this package leaflet as your COVID card. On the back, it's got the name of, of the vaccine that I got, the batch number and the date it was given. Also get a nice little huge sticker as well. So I'll put that on my hospital badge. Side effects, here we go. Number four, like all medicines, this vaccine can cause side effects, although not everybody gets them. In clinical studies with the vaccine, more side effects were mild to moderate in nature and resolved within a few days. And some still present a week after the vaccination. By the looks of it, about 60% of people are seeming to get symptoms and stuff. So if side effects such as pain or a fever are troublesome, you take paracetamol. If side effects that occur are the following. Um, it's very common, may affect more than one in 10 people, are tenderness, pain, warmth, redness, itchy, swelling or bruising where the injection is given. Uh, general feeling unwell, feeling tired or fatigued, chills and fe feeling feverish, headache, feeling sick, or joint pain and muscle aches. That was very common, this is common. Uh, again, one in 10 people. A uh, lump in the injection site, a fever, being sick, uh, flu-like symptoms such as high temperature, sore throat, runny nose, coughs and chills. Uncommon ones is feeling dizzy, decreased appetite, abnormal pain, enlarged nodes, and excessive sweating. Okay, update. So it's an hour just gone, and I've had a bath, and I've had some more paracetamols. I'm not feeling ill, I just felt like I should probably have them. Um, so I'm now in my pajamas, in bed with Netflix on. Chill time, relax, feeling okay and fine. Common side effects are fever, shiverish, and loss of appetite. I'm displaying all the opposites and they're very much my symptoms of I'm hungry, it's late, and I've been watching an entire season of you. I'm feeling quite warm and hot, which I technically can count as a symptom or a side effect, but that's probably because I've been jumping around watching you and on an emotional roller coaster because I'm rooting for him, but I'm not rooting for him, and then I'm rooting for her, and then I'm hitting her. If you've seen the season, you know what I'm on about. Anyway, so I'm getting a hot water bottle. I'm going to make myself toasty because I'm hungry. Um, I have two more paracetamol before bed because I hear that it also meant to, that it wakes people up. It's quite late. Toasty paracetamol bed. I don't know why I did that like it's a fucking bush took a trial. It is six. I've been up since ten to three. Shivering. Breathing's been fine, but I've had to the gas because I'm shivering that much. Like I was wrapped up in this hot water bottle. I do there's a, a quilt underneath me. I'm still fucking cold. Oh, I'm starting a bit. I feel a little bit sick, but I haven't been 
All right, so it's the morning. I feel like shit. I'm burning up now. Um, I'm sweating like mad. Uh, I've tried having a shower to, well, to not stink. Gotta go in and work. It's a half day anyway, so I'm only around clinic. So I will do my best, but I feel like shit. So update, I've been sent home from work. I mean, I was a half day, so I was only on till 12. Did 8 till 11, and then my manager said, just go home. I was fine, I ploughed through it, I put on a brave face, but then I just got worse, got colder and colder, headaches started going. I've had a nap for about an hour. Um, a few people have rang us just to make sure I'm okay and see how I'm feeling. Um, I've had a bath, like a red hot bath, because I was feeling cold, so I'm feeling a little bit warm now. So I'm gonna quickly get dry put some pajamas on and then just put like Spotify on my TV or something and just try and get like some more sleep. Little update, um, I haven't been asleep since about five o'clock and it's now one in the morning. I'm still cold and I'm a little headache. My arms started to hurt from where I had the injection uh, but I don't have any more back pain. I've been able to lie a bit more spread out. I'm not shivering uncontrollably. So yeah. So we're going for the update now. So it's been, it is currently Saturday. It's been how many days since the vaccine? I got Tuesday and I don't know. So it's the fourth day and I'm basically back to full health. I still have a little bit of a sickly feeling. I'm not sure if my appetites came back yet. But other than that, I'm absolutely fine. So yeah, it was an absolute write off from that vaccination. But I feel like I'm okay now. Anyway, um, feeling a lot better. My arm's still a little bit numb. I slept on it a bit weird last night. So I've just <laughs> rested uh, completely because it's still a bit... I don't think that's because of the jab. I think that's just because of the way I slept, which was changed because the jab was hurt. So maybe technically you could say it was the jab's fault, uh, but no. So yeah, completely fine now. Doing okay. So yeah, that was a, that was an experience and a half. I really don't know how to sign off the video other than, you know, get the vaccine, please. And then hopefully we can go back to normal, travel again and enjoy life. Get out of this lockdown, please. <laughs>